Glory be to God. You're welcome to the School of Miracles, Signs, and Wonder. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad. Today will be... I want to welcome everyone first. Thank you for coming. We also encourage you as you're coming into this broadcast to invite your followers and to share the broadcast. By so doing, we're giving more people opportunity to receive God's word. And God's word has the potential to transform the lives of people. And this is the School of Miracles, Signs, and Wonders. You know, most people don't believe that we can see miracles because they believe that the days of miracles, signs, and wonders have ended. Well, miracle signs and wonders is for today because Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So we can experience miracles. We can experience healing. And we can see deliverance because the miracle walking power of God is still in operation. The miracle walking power of God is still in operation. Hebrews 13 verse 8. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. If Jesus is the same yesterday, he's the same today, and forever, that simply means miracles, signs and wonders, continuous. Because wherever Jesus is, there is a manifestation of healing, there is a manifestation of deliverance, there is a manifestation of signs and wonders. Wherever you find Jesus, wherever Jesus is preached, healing takes place. Deliverance takes place. So the days of miracle, signs and wonder, has continued. But today we'll be discussing something very important. It's called the lifestyle of faith. Faith lifestyle. A lifestyle of faith. One of the major reasons why a lot of people don't see healing, miracles, signs and wonder. Most people don't have faith for it. Most people, their faith is not in that area. Their faith is not expecting healing. Their faith is not expecting miracles. And where you have your faith is where you will have your manifestation. Where you have your faith is where you're going to have your manifestation. So when people teach that the days of healing and miracle is over, most of them don't have faith for healing, faith for miracles, faith for signs and wonders. They don't have faith for it. Because it is by faith we see supernatural manifestation. It is by faith that healing is received. Healing is received by faith. That was why Jesus was said, your faith has made you whole. It is faith that makes people whole. But for that to happen, the message that comes to the people must produce faith in their hearts. Romans 10, 17. In Romans 10, 17, he said, So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. It is what you hear that determine what you believe and what you expect. What you hear determines what you believe and what you can expect. What you hear 
determines what you will believe and what you can expect. Your expectation is directly related to what you're exposed to. So if I don't have the revelation of God's word, it will be difficult for me to expect healing. Because the healing comes by revelation knowledge. When you have the revelation knowledge concerning healing, then faith for healing will come. Faith to receive healing will come. If you don't have faith for miracles, you can receive miracles. That is what the scripture said in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. He said, he that cometh to God must believe. He that cometh to God must believe that he's a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. So when you come to God, you have to believe. Miracles happen when we believe. If you don't believe, you won't see manifestation. If you don't believe, you won't see the result. It comes by believing. It's believing God's word that opens door for supernatural release. So cultivating a faith lifestyle. Let's go to Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 11. In Hebrews 11, he said, uh, let me read from verse 1. Hebrews 11, verse 1, he said, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtain a good report. So how did the elders obtain a good report? By faith. The elders obtained a good report by faith. It is by faith we receive good report. What kind of report do you want to see? What kind of manifestation do you want to see? He said, by it, he said, through faith, verse 3 said, through faith we understand that the world was framed by the word of God. Through faith. Cultivating a faith lifestyle is based on putting God's word first. If you say you want to live a lifestyle of faith, it simply means you want God's word to take the first place in everything you do. Putting God's word first. Now, when we put God's word first, because God's word has the ability to change situation, nothing can be impossible to us. Because God's word has the ability to change situation. Whether it's a financial situation, a, 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 a emotional situation, if I believe God's word, I receive. He said, by it the elders obtain a good report. So no one can truly obtain a good report except they're walking by faith. Except they're walking by faith. And faith in God empowers. Nothing empowers like faith in God. Nothing transforms like faith in God. Faith in God will set the stage for supernatural living. Faith in God. That was why Jesus said, have faith in God. And how, how, how is God going to increase your faith? Is when you, when you hear God's word and you do the word. Faith comes by hearing. Faith comes by hearing. If we consistently Feed on the revelation of the will of God, our faith begins to develop. If we consistently feed our spirit man with the revelation of the will of God, which is the Bible, the word of God is the Bible, when we feed on the word of God, the more we feed on God's word, Colossians 3 verse 16, Colossians 3.16, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. 
So if you have the word of God in you, that is the source of faith. God's word is the source of faith. God's word is the source of faith. The word of God is the source of faith. That was why the scripture said, The just shall live by their faith. The just shall live by his faith. So they just live by faith. That is how to live. That is how to see miracles by faith. That is how to walk in divine protection by faith. The just shall live by his faith. So it is by faith that they just live. Not by worry, not by anxiety, but the just lives by faith. So the scripture we read here, he said to us here, he said, it's a true faith we understand. There is an understanding that faith grants you. Through faith we understand. Through faith we understand. And faith lifestyle, faith lifestyle is the key to supernatural living. Faith lifestyle is the key to supernatural living. If you're truly going to live supernaturally, it's going to be by, it's going to be by faith. If you take your time to study Hebrews chapter 11, from verse 1 to the last verse, every exploit was a faith exploit. Every exploit was a faith exploit. Your faith must reach out to it. We have this woman, the woman of issue of blood in Mark chapter 5, from verse 25 to 35. In St. Mark Gospel, chapter 5, from verse 25 to 35, you read about the woman of issue of blood. Twelve years of humiliation, pain, and disgrace. But she heard about Jesus. She heard. This is how faith comes to people. It comes by hearing about the finished work of Jesus. Faith comes by hearing about when the more you hear about God's goodness, how good God is, how God has healed people in the past, how God delivers people, it brings faith into your spirit. So faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. That is how faith comes. It comes by hearing God's word. The more you pay attention to the word of God, the more you receive faith. You keep hearing it. Romans 10, 17. In Romans 10, 17, it says, So then faith cometh by hearing, by hearing, by hearing, by hearing, by hearing the word of God. This is how faith comes. This is how your faith begin to make progress by hearing it has to be continuously you hear the word you hear the word that is how things begin to work out that is how things begin to happen faith comes by hearing and she heard about jesus there was a shift in her thinking when she heard about jesus her perspective to the situation changed. She heard about Jesus. Then she said, if I can touch, I will be made whole. She started picturing her healing. She started seeing herself being healed, being delivered. Faith will always see victory. Faith will always see victory. If you walk by faith, you cannot be defeated. It doesn't matter the situation or the circumstances or the opposition that try to contain with the manifestation of your destiny, you cannot be defeated. Because faith will see possibilities. Faith will see open doors. Faith will see miracles where others don't see miracles. Faith would see increase. Faith would see open doors. Faith would see unusual manifestations of the Spirit. So those who walk by faith will always win. 
will always break forth because faith in God cannot fail. Faith in God does not fail. Whatever you're believing God for, don't give up. Even if you haven't seen manifestation right now, stand there, stay there, believe it. Keep standing. Don't give up. Because faith in God will prevail in the midst of the situations. Faith in God. I've been in ministry for 20 years and counting more years. Faith in God kept me going. Even when I have no reason to continue, faith said continue. Because faith can see the future. Did you know that those who succeeded with God, they did it by faith, not by how they felt, not by what people think about them. They were living by faith. They made God's word the ultimate focus of their lifestyle. Is a living by platform for exceptional living. Living by faith. This is how the just live. This is how those who want to see miracles, who want to see signs and wonders, they live, they live a lifestyle of believing God, trusting God, knowing that God will come true. It doesn't matter what it takes, God is going to come true. It doesn't matter the situation. It doesn't matter the circumstances. God is going to come true. It doesn't matter the opposition or the crisis or the challenges. God is going to come true. Because when you walk by faith, you receive more. You have more. You believe God for exceptional things. Because faith in God does not change. Do you know? The lifestyle of faith is an indication of a man who knows what it takes to win. When you walk by faith, it means you know what it takes to win. It doesn't matter what the situation is saying. You have won. You have won. Because when you live by faith, you can lay your hands on the sick with an expectation that a miracle a healing will take place. You will lay your hands on the sick with an expectation. You lay your hands on the sick. Because when you live by faith, you don't quit on God's promises. No matter the delay, no matter how long it takes, you don't quit on God's promises. You don't quit on God's purpose. You don't quit on God's agenda. It doesn't matter how long it takes. You stand on God's word. You stand on God's will. It doesn't matter what they say. Because faith in God will always produce uncommon results. Always produce uncommon results. He said the just shall live by his faith. Making God's word the foundation of what you believe, what you think, what you speak, and what you do. Making God's word the foundation of what you believe, think, say, and do. And when you have a lifestyle of faith, you will always win. And God is saying to us right now, by faith, you will see the miracles. By faith, you got to press him. You got to believe God. You got to trust his word. His word will come through for you. It doesn't matter the challenges. It doesn't matter the situation. It doesn't matter how the situation may be, your financial condition. Step out by faith and believe God for the things you want to see in your life. Those who walk by faith don't quit on God's agenda. Trusting God is a proof of faith in God. I said, trust in God is a proof of faith in God. And those who trust Him can fail. Those who trust Him, they will see more miracles. 
they will see more healing. They will see more deliverance because they trust God, because they trust His word, because they stand on the integrity of His will. I'm here to say to you, faith in God, the pathway to a life of miracles, signs, 